Okay, everybody, it's Harry Box with the Technical Trader, TechTrader.com. Tuesday, the 26th of September, these are the charts of the day. Let's take a quick look at the indices before we move on. You can see that based on what I'm seeing on the pattern, let's, uh, I'll expand this a little bit and show you that the NASDAQ 100 has been in a downtrend for about a week now with a very distinct tops line and a kind of an expanding bottom line. The rise recently, on the, uh, yes, this morning, and then the pullback wedge broke late in the session and fell right after the declining tops line, took out the two-day rising trend line or wedge, and at this point, it may be that we head lower, but we're going to just have to take a quick look at where we are tomorrow with support around 58, 65, 70 zone, and then we'll see what, what goes beyond that. On the S&P, you can see it's been in the same kind of pattern, dropping from the 25, um, 07 or 08 level just in the last few sessions and coming down with a wedge here and breaking down late in the day so your support is 24.95 right now and then beneath that we have 24.88 so that's the levels we'll be looking at on the hourly chart let's take a quick look this is the nasdaq 100 and the recent Five wave decline, followed by a five wave advance, and now a very sharp move back down. That did about a, I would have to say almost a 70.74 retracement already uh, of this entire move. So maybe I'll have to recalculate it, but that's what it looks like. And there's a big trend line here too that uh, we need to watch. There's a triple support around 58.40, but there is a minor support also at 58.60. So those are the two levels I'll be watching tomorrow. Moving on to the individual chart patterns. Alphabetically, starting with AJRD, this is a swing of ours that has acted very well in here. You can see how it broke out, flagged, and then we put a swing on it. It's moved from 26 to 35. Very nice swing, including this flag in there on low volume. Right now, we're up against resistance at the first target, but I do think we've headed to 3940. Eventually, there may be some backing and filling or pullback necessary, but momentum is strong and it's 4.6 days to cover. A very strong junior biotech AJ, ARDM, excuse me. That's Aerodyne has exploded from a buck thirty all the way up to over four. Today's high four twenty. Uh, backed off and closed at three sixty up twenty four cents. So this may be enough resistance to back and fill it in here. We'll be keeping an eye on that one. C A T M. Oh, that's a, on the short side. Sorry about that. Carrizo. Excuse me. C D N A. So it exploded and then wedged beautifully. Textbook coil actually. And broke out and went right to my next target. You can see that there's a resistance right about there, a little bit above here, maybe five, and then I'm looking at six. So if we do get an extension in momentum on this one in the next day or two, it may ex accelerate or extend to five and six, but be careful since it's already come from under a buck, it's extremely overbought short term. Oil stock Carrizo, what, add that to the list of stocks we showed you yesterday. There's a Big declining channel that may have been taken out already. If you look at it that way. And with a little bit of resistance here from the July rally high, I would expect to have some difficulty on this one about 18 and a half. We get beyond that, we look at the low 20s. <clears throat> FMSA, another one in that group that I'm adding, Fairmount Central exploded up to resistance. And although it may have room to go to six and seven and a half by next targets. I would look for some backing and filling and entry opportunities. Nine days to cover on that one. Well, how about that HMNY? Today, an inside day on lower volume. It looks like it's the pause that refreshes, much like that was. We may yet get to 11, 12, or 13, or 14 on this one. Very strong momentum. And uh, if we get to today's high at 950, 865 zone right in there is resistance. International Game Technology exploded out of its wedge. Popped dollar 46% at 3.9 million. Looks to me like if it gets through here, we're headed for a run of 28, my next target. ITUS exploding, and after hours is up even more. Take a look. Now all the way up to 4, 5, 50, 549 after hours, which puts it up in that zone. So we're very extended from 70 cents to 550. About eightfold in about seven days, I would have to say 
even though momentum is strong, you've got to be extremely careful with this one, although there is seven and a half days to cover. Isaiah is another one that exploded from the dollar. 60, 65 range all the way up to over seven today. 717 high pulled back to 662 was nevertheless up at a dollar 77 or 36 percent. There is resistance up here and in that zone, so I'm, I'm, we'd look for some backing and filling consolidation. MRTX swing trade after a pop and a pullback looks like it may try to resume. Volume wasn't big enough today, but it did go 40 cents or four percent. And with nine days to cover, you might get a retest of 12, and then we're looking at 14 and a half. Radnet, really strong chart. Take a look at the long term pattern. Broke out of the base, broke out of long term resistance above the 2014 high. And at this point, double top, breaking out. Should be a swing. Volume was 420,000, decent volume for this stock. It looks like it may need a one, two, three, fourth wave consolidation, but eventually you can see stock in the mid teens here. RIG, another stock in the oil and gas field. Popped yesterday, followed through today. It looks like we're headed for a run, perhaps to get up somewhere around the 11 and a half range, and then 13. It's five days to cover on this one. USAT has significant breakout today across the triple top and, more importantly, new all time highs, or at least multi year highs. They're going all the way back to 2008, at which point it's talking about 648. So let's look to see if it gets through that zone. My next target is in the 1012 area. Nine days to cover on that one. VERI is ridiculous, but momentum is phenomenal. Volume is tremendous. Until I see a lower low, the stock may very well hit 70 as early as tomorrow. And finally, YY popped across the resistance zone with a big punch of 695 or at 9%. We're going to have million traded, best volume on an update in about a month. And you can see on the breakout day, we may very well get this one into the low to mid 90s. Let's look at some of the shorts. I mean, let's look at some of the longs. Let's look at some of the shorts right now. CPLA, after breaking down, is forming a large month long bear flag, and I think it's going lower. Looking for 56.7 for starters. Cyber in a rising wedge, and it's a bear wedge, after breaking down from the top formation here. I don't see there's much upside, and the rollover could take you to 37, even 32. Dick Sporting Goods, yet another bear wedge. After coming all the way down, you may see even lower levels. At some point, I wouldn't be shocked to see this make a run at 21, 22. ELLI broke down, bear wedging. Looking back on the overall structure, I would look for a move to about 74. Following that, we could see high 60s. Hawaiian Airlines swing trade continues to look negative. Down again today, made a new 52-week low and uh, did bounce a little bit, but I th I'm still looking for 34 and then 30. HRC swing worked to support and bounce, but if you look carefully, it looks like another little mini rising bear flag. If that gets taken out, look out below. Still looking for low... So let's call it 66.7. INN, INN, excuse me, is a steel stock that broke, wedged, and now is bare flagging or wedging again. And I think it goes down to 23, 19, even as low as 16, 17. Possibility of that. PCMI continues to develop another bare flag in here. And if this is one and two, three and four, wave five could take you to the six, excuse me, to the eight, eight and a half area. Dave and Buster's swing trade. That's a bear rising wedge. Looking for a move to test 47.8, eventually 41. PLT, same pattern. Breakdown, bear flag. I'm looking for a move below 41.5 to get this one down to 36.7. True car, new swing, rolling over it steadily for like six, six out of the last seven days. And looks to me like we're going to test the 14 and then 12, 12 and a half areas. And finally, it's vertiv which you gave you as a swing up here, that worked out well. But it doesn't look done yet. I mean, I know it's one, two, three, four, five, but we could construe this as a one, two, and a three, four. If the, we do get another wave down, the probabilities or possibilities are that this may make, make it down to the low 20s. Folks, that's the long and short of it today. Interesting market out there. We'll talk tomorrow. Bye-bye.